Hi, do you like River C? I'm going to show you a different way of playing it. While playing standard River C, you might have won a perfect game. I mean when you capture all of your opponent's stones. I think that is a rare occasion because the opponent will try to prevent it. But if you control both sides, can you make that happen as well? How easy or hard will it be? Also, if it's not too hard or not too easy, can this be made into a puzzle game where you start from an arbitrary setting? Just like this, and you try to make it all white or all black using the fewest moves. Here's one solution. White starts eating up from outside, while black organizes itself. Any activity will create one more stone, and if it doesn't fill a hole, it'll sprawl outward, which will be tougher to remove. So you need to make them align As you see, this solution has ended up with 32 whites. At the end of the video, I will show you how to finish with 31 blacks. There's not much to say about the rules, but if one party has run out of moves, but has stones, then I think it should be considered a failure, because if you allow this, trivial solutions may arise. There is an excellent implementation of basic operations such as finding legal moves. Well, edax is much more than that. It's crazy fast and easy to connect to. So I wrote my River C Wipeout Solver. It looks at possibilities 6 stones ahead and play one move that goes toward the best outcome. So what makes a board most promising? Originally I looked at minority count, then I asked myself, could it do better if it knew which color to remove? So I added two variants which sticks to one color. So this is a summary of about 20,000 runs. So it turns out if you control both sides, a large portion of random configurations can be cleaned. Even after 39 random steps, pun intended, the 43 stones could be unified at a 10% chance that is by my small program. Sticking to one color is a disadvantage, showing that not all boards can be readily cleaned both ways. Looking only at successful runs, the greater amount of mess did not necessarily require a proportional amount of cleaning work. Here again, the minority eliminator looks best, because statistically speaking, it tends to produce shorter solutions. However, the minority chaser is not the silver bullet. My simple criteria, the minority count, is an integer, which produces a lot of ties. So multiple moves may look just as good as one another. So I solved one puzzle 100 times. It failed 9 times, finished with 32 white stones 5 times, and 33 black stones 21 times. Meanwhile, white never failed, and found the equally best white solution 31 times, as opposed to 5. And then black emerges, no failure either, and a new best solution with 31 black stones. Setting aside the frequency of the best solutions, why was a 31 stone solution never found by the minority killer? Examining the solutions themselves, the black maximizer employed a new move, B2. On the other hand, minorities first move, G3 or G7, were shared with whiteout scenarios. It turns out black simply made the less preferred move. When considering the first move, both minor and white saw the opportunity to take down on black down to two pieces, but obviously this was not a choice for black. So maybe there are more opportunities like this? Unfavorable moves can be breakthroughs. Maybe that kind of insight could be gained by visualizing the significance of each position, like this for example. In the beginning, black plays d3 without loss of generality. So when I map the outcome class, all white, all black or failure, following the first white move, I learned that the diagonal move is less friendly to perfect games, possibly by driving future mobility into the corner, or that the parallel move makes it easier for black to take over. Similar analysis can be continued, but interpreting the subtleties rising from the slightly unsymmetric configuration might soon hit the limit of human conceptualization. So thank you for watching and if you happen to develop a stronger solver, please let me know. 
and now follows the 31 plaque stone solution, which I also mentioned in the beginning. Have a great day.